the the person who's perceiving them doesn't match their memory of them any longer. There's yeah, something different right. about the person. And that's exactly what this world needs, that collective networks of observers wow. determine reality. Hello, and welcome to the Pacific Channel. I'm your host, Steve Doherty. In this video, Danica Patrick asked Dr. Joe Dispenza if there's any scientific evidence that time is speeding up. Dr. Joe starts off answering this question by saying that he'll explain it in two ways. One of the ways is that technology is causing us to experience more things in a shorter amount of time, which means that you can get more things done in a shorter amount of time. He's going to say that the past is the known and the predictable future is the known, but the present moment where all possibilities exist is the unknown. So there is a quickening in human consciousness because of technology. And the other way time is quickening is that there is some sort of an energetic thing that is taking place. At this point, Dr. Joe gets a little bit off topic and starts talking about other things such as how things are starting to fall apart, such as governments, education, journalism, and the medical system, and how that has to happen for a new consciousness to emerge. But it does seem that a lot of our world is falling apart very fast right now. Just think about how different your life is from five years ago. Next, Dr. Joe says something very important, and that is that we can't face these changes in the world because we would just add to it. I think what he means by this is that we live in a yes-based universe. So whatever you give your attention to, you create more of it. Whatever you resist, persist. So if we focus our energy on the problem, problems in our government, education, journalism, or the medical system, we can actually create more problems. So we have to be relaxed and awake and learn to master the moment instead of being stressed out and unconscious. And then he's going to talk about how people at his retreat are healing themselves of stage four cancer, muscular dystrophy, and even blindness. One of the women who is blind saw her face for the very first time, he said. The great thing about all this is that the more of us that believe and know that this is possible, the more likely it will happen for more of us. Let's listen to Danica and Dr. Joe discuss all of this now. I'm your host, Dr. Joe Dispenza. Let's begin. I think about time and I think about like talking to Greg Braden and talking about, and maybe you guys have had this conversation um, about just time and you've surely had this experience though, and time accelerating and speeding up. And I'm wondering if there's any thoughts around that or like any scientific data or just or like anecdotal even with your experience and what you're seeing that and how important it is to anchor new realities like we've been talking yeah. about from the field because of this acceleration of time. And now I'm not saying I know that scientifically or factually. I'm just saying it feels like it. Mm. It feels like things are speeding up whether it's the veil thinning, creating, um, waking up, uh, it just feels like that. So what have you experienced? Um, I'll explain, for me, I'll explain it in two ways. I mean, one of the ways is, unfortunately, technology is actually causing us to experience more things in a shorter amount of time. Okay, I mean, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we can do so much yeah. more in a shorter amount of time. Uh, and the side effect of that, unfortunately, is that attention spans have shortened uh, because you can shift your attention from one thing to the next and if you keep doing something over and over again you develop a habit so so to the person who is in three-dimensional reality because of technology you can get more done in a shorter amount of time or more things are happening in a shorter amount of time so that uh, the, so there's an a quickening in human consciousness because the pace has increased right the problem with that is that you can get on amazon prime and you get something delivered to your door, door the next day or sometimes even the same day. There's this kind of entitlement of convenience that takes place where we really think that, um, you know, everything's going to be handed to us or we mm -hmm. can get whatever we want. Nothing wrong with that. That's really cool. That's really great. But in the creative process, 
um, you actually have to get outside of time in order for you to be able to create. Because mm -hmm. if you're trying to predict what's going to happen in the next moment, if you keep romancing what happens, you're not in the present moment. The familiar past is the known. The predictable future is the known. The present moment is the unknown. That is where all possibilities exist. So, mm -hmm. yes, there is a function of three-dimensional reality and technology where more things are happening in a shorter amount of time. Certainly, there's some type of energetic thing that's taking place uh, in so many ways. And to me, that energy is actually endorsing whoever you want to be. That's what I believe. Mm -hmm. So if you want to be a victim, get ready because it's going to get really good for you. Hmm. Uh, because that energy is more available. If you want to heal, wow, there's a lot of people healing now and they're using that energy instrumentally yeah. in a positive way. Hmm. So, so yes, there's a quickening that's taking place and it's creating quite a contrast or extremes that are taking place in reality. And the more extreme it gets, the more unstable the system, right? So uh, uh, governments, um, uh, journalism, uh, education, religion, medicine, uh, everything's kind of falling apart, you know, um, uh, mm. and and it's very obvious to people that has to happen for a new consciousness to emerge. The thing is, we can't face these changes uh, programmed because we'll just add to uh, the chaos. We actually have to be relaxed and awake instead of stressed out and unconscious. And we have the data to show that when you're relaxed and awake, amazing things can actually happen to you instead of in survival stressed out and in a program so yeah. in order to create out something new we got to be we got to be in the present moment and we have to be outside that pace mm -hmm. of where everything's moving very quickly and and mm -hmm. technology unfortunately is causing people it's it's causing people to think uh, uh instead of them f for them to think on their own and i'm concerned about that because um I never tell people what to think. I, I, I want them to think for themselves. I think it's really important for us to think for ourselves. So there's an acceleration that's taking place energetically, but I do think that that acceleration is really just endorsing uh, uh, who, who you're being. So master the moment and, yeah. and learn how to be a creator. Uh, I think that amazing things happen, and, and that's exactly what we're discovering uh, over and over again in, in just witnessing the, the science is... Uh, absolutely supporting that that you are greater than you think more powerful than you know more unlimited than you can ever dream we have the data over and over again that suggests that and the yeah. testimonials that we have in hundreds of people we have cancer researchers yeah. standing on the stage with cancer completely gone we see stage four cancers and bones and organs and liver and lungs Com metastatic cancer just doesn't typically go away um very easily and out of the bones there's no sign of it anywhere i mean not once not, not twice over and over and we had two people at an event that were blind i mean no hmm. you know i'm you know i'm a healthy skeptic wow. i mean this woman That's saw crazy. her face for the first time in, in the mirror That's and crazy it was too too good of a story to pass up you can't make these up so the testimony is the four mm -hmm. minute mile what was once considered impossible i mean muscular dystrophy really the physicians that were in the audience that, that were disbelievers, they, they, they were in tears. They just could not imagine that this could actually take place. It wasn't matter to matter. You know, it wasn't 3D reality trying to change 3D reality. That was not it. It was, it was energy that was actually informing matter. They could never do it that way. It, could, it had to, it had to ha happen another way. So you have this amazing evidence in scientific research, and you have this amazing evidence in human testimony. And evidence is the loudest voice and i'm so optimistic now for the first time in a long time that we actually can actually find our way here that 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 we have to come together community of the same consciousness that isn't angry they've overcome their anger that isn't fearful yeah. they've overcome their fear they're not suffering and pain they've overcome that in their own personal work and they're actually showing the world what love looks like they're showing the world what greatness looks like they're demonstrating for the world. They're not talking about it philosophically. They're actually demonstrating who they are. So the person who witnesses them says, wow, something is really different about you. What's different about you? I don't know. Well, there's something different about you because the person is not, the, the person who's perceiving them doesn't match their memory of them any longer. There's yeah, something different right. about the person. And that's exactly what this world needs, that collective 
networks of observers、wow. determine reality. Do you believe、Morash、in the 100th monkey theory? I do. I'm actually. I'm. I'm not. It's not that I believe it. I. I know it now because I'm <laughs> seeing four people with Raynaud syndrome in one event all heal. I mean, I mean that is that is a collective. That's a morphogenic What's field. What's the、there. possibility that we see the hundredth monkey theory、uh, come into effect on our level of consciousness globally within our I think, lifetime? I think as we get close, as, as time speeds up like it is, it gets more and more unpredictable to determine when it's going to happen. But I will tell you this. I'm so optimistic. If we can continue、uh, staying awake, relaxed, and awake, and continually doing the work, and keep pushing the edge of what's possible, the brain—it's really funny, you know. The brain actually changes the most when you get to the point where you think you can't go any further. If you go、mm-hmm. past that point, if you just go past that point,、mm-hmm. that's when you see the greatest brain changes. And so、mm-hmm. we actually push people past that point, and we、yeah. give them some tools to what to do there. And lo and behold, we we see it: young people, old people. We see it: educated, uneducated. We see、uh, healthy, sick. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's、uh, cause none of that matters. It's just it, it's it's just their their ability to be able to execute. So that's the rep- we would love to give back to our Pacific family for all the love and support they have given us. We are offering two lucky winners. A ticket to Dr. Joe Dispenza's week-long retreat in Sunshine Coast, Australia, worth twenty-three hundred dollars each. To enter the giveaway, you must be a subscriber to our channel Pacific. Like this video, comment how our channel has helped you, share this video with any five people, and stay tuned on our channel as we will declare the winner soon. Please refer to the description below for more info. Good luck. So, Dr. Joe said that science is supporting more and more that you are greater than you think, and you are more powerful and unlimited than you can ever imagine. One thing that I'd like to say about this is that just because there is new scientific evidence about healing, doesn't mean that everyone is going to believe it. You can provide an unlimited amount of information and proof to someone who is not a believer, and they still won't believe it. People believe what they want to believe, and then create the evidence to support that belief. You may even have family members who are that way. This is why it's best, in general, to not push this information on anyone, but at the same time, hold the door open for them to discuss it. I say this from experience. So the results that Dr. Joe has seen are nothing short of miraculous and amazing. What once was thought of as impossible is now not only possible but provable through scientific research, brain scans, and medical tests. Dr. Joe said that the testimony is the four-minute mile. In other words, once the average person sees someone heal themselves of something very severe like stage four cancer or blindness, then they are going to believe it too. And since belief is really the only thing stopping you and me from healing anything, the possibility to heal isn't available more than ever. Honestly, it's a great time to be alive. Now, more than ever, the old paradigm limited to 3D reality world is crumbling before us. No longer are we going to be susceptible to fear mongering about this or that disease. Or this or that illness, by those in power who are more concerned about profit than people. Danica Patrick, who, by the way, is the most successful woman in the history of American race car driving, then asked Dr. Joe about the hundredth monkey effect, and if he thinks it's going to happen. The hundredth monkey effect is a hypothetical phenomenon, in which a new behavior or idea is spread rapidly by unexplained means. From one group to all related groups, once a critical number of members of one group exhibit the new behavior or acknowledge the new idea, basically, it's evidence that we are all connected through consciousness. It's proof. Dr. Joe answered this question by saying that he's already seen it on a smaller scale, and that he's very hopeful for humanity. Next, he said that you see the greatest brain change when you push yourself to go just a little bit further than you think you can. This is why.
Pushing yourself to meditate for an hour a day may be the key to you finally getting to that point too. When you push yourself beyond what you think are your limits, you prove to your subconscious mind and your body that new possibilities exist and you open yourself up to a whole new world, the quantum world of possibility. Please hit the like button if you liked the video. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Additionally, share this video with five of your friends and leave a comment below to be entered to win a free ticket to one of Dr. Joe Dispenza's week-long courses. On Saturday, January 21st at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, we'll hold our first free Law of Attraction and EFT healing session. Please send your email to the address listed in the description below in order to register. We'll provide you a form that asks you about your goals for the session, any issues you want to address, and a few other things. I'm hoping you can attend. And now, if you have any further questions, please post them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to respond. Or share your thoughts on this video in a comment. I appreciate you and hope to see you in the next video.